the mineral acid to an aqueous solution of borax the compound that has been formed is usually mineral acids means the inorganic acid the best examples for mineral acids in the form of the sulfuric acid or nitric acid or maybe the hydrochloric acid so here borax is actually called as a sodium tetra borate with a decahydrate usually by removing that particular Na2B4O7 this is called as anhydrous sodium tetra borate when it made to react with which one the sulfuric acid called as a mineral acid in support of which one water upon addition of this we are getting first sodium borate is converted in the form of sodium sulfate and that is removed in the form of H3BO3 this is called as orthoboric acid orthoboric acid it is neither a boron dihydrate or it may be the metaboric acid or the pyroboric acid metaboric acid is HBO2 and then pyroboric acid is H2B4O7 means it is the acid with respect to the borax salt that is instead of Na2 if I put H2 then it becomes what pyroboric acid if it is a borite means it is called as the metaboric acid so here with respect to the first one it is going to be the what orthoboric acid okay let's move on to the second one the main constituents with respect to which one the coal gases what are the main constituents with respect to the coal gas here so coal gas means usually it consists of the methane along with the carbon monoxide and then the hydrogen usually the coal gas which it is coal on destructive distillation gives rise to various components and this component one of the component is found to be the what the coal gas and that coal gas contains the which one the methane carbon monoxide along with which one hydrogen in which the methane is found to be around 23 percent so here the highest percentage with respect to this is 56 percentage of hydrogen and then 23 percent with respect to which one the methane and then nearly 10 to 11 percent with respect to which one carbon monoxide that is usually 10 to 11 percent or 11 percent with respect to and this particular combination is called as what gas the the coal gas okay so let us have the third one <clears throat> which element of the group 14 elements group 14 elements forms only one hydride so carbon we know that it is having a name itself is a hydrocarbon means all are the hydrates of which one carbon means we can have the innumerable number of which one carbon silicon has carbon has large number of hydrates large number of which one hydrates whereas a silicon is having silicon tetrafluoride so tetrahydride and then disilicon hydride or it simply is the trihydride sn is in the form of sn h2 and then sn h4 but lead is having only one hydride in the form of pbh4 means that is the one and only hydride with respect to which one the plumbus plumbus element that is called as lead lead existed only the one type of hydride of the formula bh pbh4 whereas tin and silicon will have at least two of their hydrates whereas the carbon has a very large number of which one hydrates with respect to the 14th group elements okay let's have the <coughs> fourth So here the fourth one is <clears throat> which of the following process doesn't involve a catalyst means it's one process where we can't expect the catalyst nature or there is no need of a catalyst here as if we are very familiar with respect to Haber process and then the contact process Haber's process refers to what nitrogen combines with hydrogen in presence of which one to form ammonia. So it is catalyzed in presence of iron powder as a catalyst, molybdenum acting as a supporter. In the contact process with the Ke reaction or the main reaction with respect to this, the oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide, either using vanadium pentoxide or platinum exhibiting as a which one? Catalyst. Whereas in the contact Oswald process for the manufacture of which one? Nitric acid, where the nitric or nitrogen combines with oxygen in presence of the, nine, the platinum rhodium as a catalyst that is the manufacture of nitric acid by which one Osol process where nitrogen combines with oxygen to in presence of platinum rhodium acting as a catalyst to form which one the nitric oxide nitric oxide and further oxide is used 
nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen dioxide is absorbed by water to form nitric acid that is this also involves a catalyst called as platinum rhodium catalyst platinum rhodium but here the thermite process it's a metallurgical concept where aluminium reacts with m fe2o3 to form al2o3 plus m make that as m here for example iron let us call that as this mixture is called as thermite means they are in the ratio of what is to what 1 is to 3 mixture of aluminium and then the powdered aluminium oxide is called as what the thermite mixture so here there is no need of a catalyst but it requires a high temperature that is why this process is particularly called as what metallurgy pyro metallurgy means we are extracting the metal by heating to a very high temperature that is why it is called as what the the pyro metallurgy so that is why during this a large amount of heat is liberated means it is a highly what reaction exothermic reaction that is why this particular heat is used for the thermite welding process that is why the name of that one is called as the thermite process thermite means it is an equi one is to three mixture of which and which the powdered aluminium with the metal oxide that we have chosen so here aluminium is not acting as a catalyst but it is using as a r it is acting as a what agent reducing agent what it reduces aluminium reduces metal oxide to respective metal means it is in the process called as what metallurgy pyro metallurgy therefore it is found to be the what a fourth a let's move on to the fifth one now <coughs> So here graphite, what is it? Graphite is made by heating how? Coke with silica for many hours in a blast furnace, a blast of a steam and a pressure in terms of air or it may be the high electric arc furnace. Usually these two refers to the metallurgical process means we are extracting the metals by heating to a very high temperature in the form of either the blast furnace or it may be the blast of steam under furnace or pressure. But these two we can expect, but there is no need of air in here. So here, coke, coke means carbon, combines with which one? Silica. So here, graphite has to be obtained. First, there is a formation of silicon carbide plus the removal of carbon monoxide or it may be the carbon dioxide. Here, that silica now combines with this carbon to form carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide here. It forms graphite in the form of this that is silicon plus silicon carbide on heating it converted into silicon plus carbon and this is particularly called graphite but here electric arc is necessary means that has to be heated by by presence of which one high electric arc so this is called silicon carbide and this silicon carbide is called as carborundum an intermediate that has been obtained during the preparation of graphite from which one coke is the carborandum that's carborandum is called as a silicon carbide means it is a carbide of which element that is a silicon therefore the fifth is found to be the what d means graphite is made by heating coke with which one silica for many hours only by heating the by the higher electric arc furnace okay so let's move on to the sixth one <coughs> When orthoboric acid is heated, <coughs> what happens? Orthoboric acid, when it is heated, what happens here? Boron is foreign, metaboric acid or boric anhydride or it may be the boron oxide or boron, borax here. H3BO3, what is this? This is called as hydroboric, sorry, orthoboric acid. When it is heated, means it removes the molecule of which one? Water. So here, after the removal of water, it forms B2O3 plus H2O. So to balance that, we will have 2 here. Here it is 2. Means this is called as anhydride of which one? The boric acid. This is called as hydride of B2O3. Whereas this is called as anhydride of boric acid. H3BO3. Therefore, the name with respect to the heating product or the product that has been obtained by heating orthoboric acid is found to be the boric water hydride anhydride anhydride means the removal of water or the compound that has been formed by the losing of water is called as anhydrides 
as it is obtained from the boric acid the compound name is going to be the what boric anhydride okay 6c let's move on to the seventh one 